Uh, hey guys, Josh from Random Quickie Review Channel here. I'm here with my uh, friend and newest addition to the team, Quinn. Hello. Uh, so he's going to be the newest person working with the review channel. He's going to have complete access to the channel, so he's going to be uploading his own content uh, when he can, reviews on his gun and whatever guns he may acquire and gear that he has or may get in the future. Um, we're also making, well, de deciding on a team to make yeah. uh, gas gas gun operators because that's what we run. We both only run gas guns, and if we uh, meet anyone else in the uh, East Mesa area who runs strictly gas guns, you guys want to shoot shoot me a message on the on the channel or post something in the comments uh, if you would want to be interested in joining our team that we're trying to set up here. So, update on the WE SCAR, uh, brand new flashlight added, this is the GMB Tactical, it's $25 on Ebic, extremely bright and it has uh, three functions, uh, one of which is a strobe, so I'm going to show you guys, it's pretty bright, um, haven't used it in the game yet, but it's awesome. Uh, the charging handle assembly on the gun has sustained some damage and kind of cracked, but it still works just fine, which I'm kind of unsure why it cracked, probably poor molding in the part, but I did order some spares and a bunch of other parts here just in case. When the time comes, I need to replace them. Um, probably put 800 rounds or so in this gun so far, and probably going to get maybe up to a thousand the next time I play. Um, my buddy Quinn here, he's going to tell you guys about his gear. Yeah, so this is my WE CQVR uh, M4 that I have made some modifications to. I've got the Gemtech black side on here. I have a Troy or Mad Bull TRX rail, which uh, it did thread on fine. There was a little bit of issues getting the front side off. That was a pain, but uh, the actual installation of the rail was uh, very easy. So I would, I would recommend this rail to anybody. Um, top I have a, just a, a Leapers red green dot uh, sight which it looks pretty cool and it works good and then on the back I have a Magpul CTR stock which has performed you know, as good as you would expect from the stock. It, uh, it is also real steel. Yeah. You don't run the PTS stuff here. No. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a real one. I got it for like 60 bucks uh, off BCM. And, uh, Cheaper than PTS. Yeah. So a really good deal I think. Um, but yeah, so far the guns worked awesome. I've probably got three or four hundred rounds through it all together. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, but uh, the only issue has been a sticky uh, nozzle, and um, it hasn't affected any of the actual gameplay. I don't think, but um, it's just kind of something to think about. So you can, I don't know if it's going to do it right now. It doesn't look like it. Thing sounds so cool, but uh, <laughs> uh, both of these guns are really solid, especially yeah. for the price you pay for them. Um, so if you're looking for a gas rifle that isn't super expensive and you don't mind it not being as realistic as a uh, Western Arms Magnus system, definitely take a look into a WE M4 or SCAR yeah. or any of the WE's other gas pullback guns. They're pretty good. Stay away from the pistols though. Yeah, <laughs> some sketchy stuff with pistols. but. Um, um, so he's also that's his his gun though. Yeah, this is my gun setup. Then moving on, talking about his gear. It's not permanent right now because we're making a team, so we're still trying to decide on what color camo we want and exactly what kind of um, PCs we want to run or mm -hmm. play carriers for those uh, that don't know the uh, slang term. Yeah, we're thinking and moving to LBX because their stuff looks really promising and the uh, the Mantis camo in particular is uh, pretty cool. But for now, I am running an Avengers uh, JPC um, style plate carrier. It was like 70 bucks off you like. Uh, it's not much to say about it. It's pretty comfortable, uh, pretty light. The only thing is these, uh, these kangaroo pouches. The Velcro is like jaws of life strength. Um, takes some breaking in. Um, aside from that, I have my Hikatsu uh, lower face protection, which uh, really good. It's comfortable. It's uh, it's pretty simple, but it covers my face well, and I uh, haven't had any issues with it. It's also, because it's made out of plastic, and you can actually spray paint it with uh, whatever color camo you're running. Yeah. 
So if you wanted it to match your gear better, you can go ahead and do that if you so chose. Yeah, that's another cool um, little additive that you can do, I guess. Uh, gloves, I run Mechanics Impact Coverts. Uh, they work great. You can still be very dexterous with them and they're really comfortable and they breathe well and I haven't had any problems with them so far. I did cut off the front of my trigger finger, but aside from that, these are, they stop any sort of BBs or whatever and they're definitely something I would recommend. And then goggles wise, I just have some Lancer Tactical, they're like 17 bucks goggles that uh, they don't really fog that bad surprisingly and I haven't had any issues with cracking or anything. Um, only after, you know, like an extended Time, I would say they fog, but that's pretty much every goggle. So I would actually recommend these um, if you're in the market just for some pretty cheap goggles. You know, 17 bucks, you can't really go wrong. So uh, aside from that, I run just normal mags. I do have, right now, I only have one of these MSK uh, PMAG style magazines and uh, had a little bit of a feeding issue. Well, not a feeding issue, but- uh, Bolt catch. Yeah, it wouldn't engage the bolt catch. Um, when it was out uh, for the first, I don't know, probably two mags. two mags or so, I was having an issue, but it seems to have worked itself out. I played last week and it locked back every time. So I don't know, I'm guessing it just probably needs to be broken in or something, but uh, yeah, these have all worked good since then. And uh, aside from that, I just run standard, uh, the open bolt it's style, Stanex style mags. So, that's pretty much my gear setup that I run uh, for now until we can decide on a camo pattern and other gear things that we want to run as a team. So, so um, expect a review on his WEM4. Yeah. Um, it's still going to have all the stuff on it, but uh, I'm going to go over how it originally was before. Uh, we put all this stuff on it, but that was almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, I made some changes pretty quick. I didn't like the uh, setup of it standard. Um, and I plan on changing more things along the way, you know, adding some other stuff. But for now, this is a, a solid setup that has seemed to work pretty good. So. And then, so after the, seeing his review for the M4, we're also going to compare the SCAR to the M4 as well as he, his gear that he has compared to my gear. Um, he also runs a Echo One uh, Timberwolf. Yeah, I do. Uh, Which I would actually recommend if you like the whole Glock style. I know those are kind of... The market not, is drying up. Um, yeah. Glock. They're not as... Series guns. Um, uh, we openly. should probably stop talking about them because they, they may see what's yeah, they might finishing their names. Flag the video. Um, so... Expect all, a lot of upcoming uh, content to the channel. Hopefully pretty soon. Um, uh, we're kind of running out of time here. Trying to keep this video shorter than how it was before. So First take was like 20 minutes. Yeah. It didn't even film at all because we ran out of time. So uh, that's about it. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing... You guys will be seeing this content very soon on the channel, and until then, uh, it's been a random quickie uh, channel update to see you guys in the next video.